Now, the next example is we're going to do square roots. And I like using prime factorization for problems, but guys, it really kind of becomes like redundant. When we're always doing prime factorization, it can take a while. And especially with square roots, we should understand that um, you know, square roots, we are very familiar with a lot of square numbers. So let's think about it. Is there a number that we know that multiplied by itself to give you 16? Because remember, square root is what number multiplied by itself twice, where cube root is multiplied by itself three times. So do we have a number that, multiply, that we can take the square root of just 16? Four. Four. Actually, first of all, let me show you. First thing we can do is actually rewrite this as six, square root of 16 over square root of 25 x to the eighth. Okay? So when you have the square root of a fraction, you can break that up into the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. So the square root of 16 is just what? 28. 4. All right. Now, what is the square root of 25? 5. Five. And I could break up the square root of x to the eighth as x times x times x times x times x, right? But remember what we talked about. The cube root of x cubed is what? X. x. So the square root of x squared is going to be x. x. So let's just let's take how many x squareds does it take for us to multiply to give us to x to the eighth? Does that make sense? The x to the eighth is the same thing as x squared times x squared times x squared times x squared, right? Because you add the powers. Yes? So now, can I take the square root of each of these x squareds? Yeah. So I'm left with 4 over 5 times x times x times x times x, which is, is going to give me 4 over 5x to the fourth. Done. Fine. Hmm? 